Now, let's talk about all the formulas that you need in this chapter. There are a total of how many here? Uh, total of six things, lah, basically. The first one is work uh, W equals FS, work times force times, work equals to force times displacement. Uh, of course, you must know uh, units are W unit in J because you must know that work actually is the same as energy. So W in J, F in N, S in M. Power. Power is talking about the rate of work done. The speed of how fast you do work. If you do the same work with your friend, who does it faster? That's called power. So P. P is in what? Capital W. P equals to W over T. W is Joule. T is second. P, uh, w equal, P equals W over T. Okay? Next one. Potential energy. You got two types of potential energy. You have GPE and EPE. GPE is gravitational potential energy only when an object is at a height. So you have M. M is the mass. Okay, GPE again in Joule. Mass is in kg. Kg. G, you must know, always is 10. The value of G is always 10. And the H is the height in meter. EPE. EPE is second type. Elastic potential energy. Dealing with spring or rubber band. When you have extension or compression. Half times F times X. EPE again is the energy. So unit is Joule. F unit is N. X unit is M. Okay? Then you have kinetic energy. KE. KE again energy unit in Joule. KE equals to half MV square. M, M is mass. M is in kg. V. V is actually called velocity. But you may learn it as speed. Okay? Speed or velocity. It is in the unit of meter per second. Okay? Meter per second. Of course, you can see that there is a square. The square is for velocity only. The square is only for the speed, not for the whole thing. Okay? Please be careful. Only square the V. Then the last thing you learn in this chapter is the principle. Principle of conservation of energy. PCE. Principle of conservation of energy states that energy cannot be created nor destroyed. It can only change from one form to another. So the energy that is changed from potential to kinetic to potential to kinetic to potential to kinetic, the total energy is always the same. That's why you can see in the coconut example just now, when the coconut is at the top, 100% PE. Then when it becomes halfway, you must split the energy. 50% PE, 50% KE. Cannot have 100, 100 because energy, the total energy is the same. If you got 100 Joule, then in the middle you got 50, 50. Then at the bottom you have got 100 again. Total must always be the same. That is what the PCE tell you. So PE equals to KE. What happens is you can substitute the formula for PE and substitute the formula for KE inside. Half Fx is from EPE. Half Fx equals to half MV square. Why do you need to do this? Next one, MGH equals to half MV square. Why do you need to do this? Because sometimes question never give you the V. Sometimes question never give you the M. Sometimes question never give you the F. Sometimes question never give you the X. Sometimes question never give you the H. What do you do? You need to substitute everything else that you know to find the unknown. Like in this example here, the coconut example, you know the mass of the coconut. Let's say the mass is one kilo. You know the G. G is always 10. You know the H. H is four meters. But do you know the V? You don't know the V. Can you calculate the V? Yes. What do I do? I use this formula. Lah. If I want to find the V of this coconut, how do I do the V of coconut? Let me show you. Let me show you. Wait, my zoom lagging, you know. Too many words on the whiteboard. What to do? What to do? It's lagging. Okay. Now, let me show you. How do I find the velocity or the speed of the coconut since I do not have enough information? Okay. Coconut, one kilo. 
what is the velocity what is the velocity what is the speed of the coconut when it's in the middle here okay you know that the m is 1 kilo you know that g is always 10 you know that the h in the middle is 2 meter And you know that the kinetic energy half half mv square. You know that the m is one kilo. The only thing you need to find is v. Why is everything gone? What do you do? Mgh equals to half mv square. You want to find the v. What do you do? Substitute everything that you know. 1 kg, 10, H is equal to 2, equals to half, M is 1, V you don't know, put V square there. And then what do you do here? Move everything to the other side. Over 2, bring up, become multiply 2. The 1, forget about it. The 1, forget about it. So over here you got 20. 20 multiply 2 is 40. V square is equal to 40. V is equal to square root of 40. So that is how you find velocity using these two formulas. PCE. Understand? Okay? Of course, the units, you must follow the rules on top. Everyone, can you understand chapter 7? That is the entire chapter 7 in 5 minutes. Okay? Good enough for you? Is it good enough for you? Entire chapter 7 in 5 minutes. Okay? I don't know how else to be faster. Wow, Isaac got kicked. Why? Your teacher never teach you like this? Ah? Your, teacher, your teacher spend how much time teach you? Your teacher spend how much time teach you? Ah. I won't teach. Okay. Never mind. So I teach you now. Okay? So we are done. We are done here.